homecoming of those 100 Marines who were deployed to Afghanistan. 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco is joining us. And Rachel, a lot of excited and anxious families tonight. Kimberly and Steve, you should have heard the cheers just a few minutes ago from this crowd. That plane just landed. The Marines will be uh, reunited any minute now. Joining me now, though, I have Josh Odell, who is just uh, so excited waiting for his girlfriend. Tell us about what this day means to you, especially being reunited on Veterans Day. Oh, it's great. I woke up like a kid on Christmas. I was just shaking. I couldn't even sleep last night because she's been gone so long. Can't wait to hug her, kiss her, and be able to have her in my hands again. And being back on Veterans Day is even better because... Uh, you know, what they did over there, she's a war veteran now, and then uh, it's a great way to celebrate, too. And this is one of the last air groups to leave Afghanistan. What does that mean to you, also, you being a Marine yourself? Uh, it's great because, you know, I joined and did my tours and everything like that in Afghanistan, and uh, why they're coming back. It's a great feeling. You know, it's been going on for over 10 years, so most of the people that are in right now are, are just joined. You know, we're just little bitty kids and are joined, you know, when they're just born, so it's a great feeling. All right, thank you for joining us, and thank you for your service. Thank you. Happy Veterans Day. Again, that reunion will happen uh, any minute now. We'll have more for you coming up new at 6. Reporting live at MCAS Miramar, Rachel Bianco, 10 News. So looking forward to everybody getting back. Thank you, Rachel. Such a special day to have it happen, no too, doubt. right yeah. on Veterans Day.